Super Bowl wrap-up, brought to you by HFC, the company that says, before you sign on the dotted line, know what your loan will cost. That's household finance. I'm Frank Musser with the wrap-up on today's Super Bowl, and golly, what can you say? As far as Jet fans are concerned, they might see the sun rising in the west tomorrow and setting in the east. They might even see Joe Namath get a haircut. What would be more unusual than that game this afternoon? What a football game it was for the New York Jets and the American Football League. Matt Snell scored the touchdown that put the Jets out in front, and they stayed out in front. First half ended 7-0 on Snell's touchdown and Jim Turner's extra point. And then in the second half, Jim Turner kicked three field goals from the 32, the 31, and the 9-yard line. And finally, the Colts, behind 16 to nothing, rallied for one touchdown as John Unitas came off the bench, replaced Earl Morrill, engineered an 80-yard drive that saw Jerry Hill go over for the touchdown, and Lou Michaels' extra point gave the Colts their last point in the game. The Jets winning it 16 to 7, picking up 20 first downs, controlling the ball game almost from the start. I'll have more to say about the game in just a moment. You say you got all the bills you can afford and you got the money to pay them? Then someone hands you that extra bill you can't afford. And that's when you should visit Household Finance for a bill payer loan. With an HFC bill payer loan, you can pay off all of your bills, installment contracts, and other money obligations at once. Then you'll repay HFC in a sensible amount each month that's less than your present monthly total. Never borrow money needlessly. But if you've got more bills than you can handle... Jersey or Connecticut. See your phone book for the household finance office nearest you. Well, it was a rather amazing first half as the Jets outplayed the Colts. In fact, I think the Jets outplayed the Colts all afternoon long, both on offense and defense. They outscored them 7 to nothing in that first half, the first time the Colts had been shut out in the first half of a ball game all season. The sellout crowd of better than 75,000 saw Jet quarterback Joe Namath prove what many have said, that he's the best quarterback in the pros today as he mixed his plays, passing and running game, and picked the Colt blitzing defense apart. The Jet defensive secondary shared the heroics with Namath in the first half and with running back Matt Snell. As Johnny Sample intercepted one of Earl Morrow's passes, Jim Hudson picked off another, and Randy Beverly also had one in the end zone. A gusty wind blowing across the field also entered into the game in the first half as three field goal attempts were missed. Lou Michaels of the Colts missed field goals from the 26 and again from the 46. Jim Turner, the AFL's leading field goal kicker and leading scorer during the regular season, also missed from the 41. The first quarter was scoreless as the Jets won the toss and elected to receive. On their first play from scrimmage, the Jets surprised the Colts and yours truly when they moved left guard Bob Talamini over to the right side leading only Winston Hill to stop Bracey and Fred Miller. It worked as Matt Snell gained 17 yards on two carries for a first down. Then Namath was unsuccessful in sending his backs out as receivers, and Curly Johnson punted 44 yards, turning the ball over to the Colts on their 27. It didn't do the Colts any good. They weren't able to score with it. The Colts did control the ball for five and a half minutes, and uh, Larry Grantham turned in a big play when he blitzed to drop uh, Morrill at the line of scrimmage, being the 19. It was then that Michaels missed his first field goal attempt. When the Jets got the ball back, they seemed to settle down. Their offensive line gave Joe Namath good protection, but in six plays, he can move the team only to the 41. Johnson punted to the Colts, and uh, the Colts put the ball in play on the 42. Morrill found Mackey in the open with a pass, but the big tight end dropped the ball, and that plagued the Colts this afternoon. Mackey dropping a pass. Uh, there was also an interception attempt by Jerry Logan that was dropped. Had Logan been able to hold on to the ball? Well, he could have gone all the way. Getting the ball back, the Jets scored. They put the ball in play at their 20-yard line. The Jets moved for the touchdown. Matt Snell carried six times as the Jets moved the 80 yards in 12 plays. Snell carrying over for the touchdown from the four-yard line. All told, Snell gained 35 yards in those six carries, and it was uh, surprising to me. I've watched the Colts for quite a few years. It was surprising to see Snell successfully test the right side of the Colts line, running around Bracey and Fred Miller. On the touchdown drive, Namath also completed passes to Sauer, Mathis, and Snell, even though being under a strong Baltimore blitz on just about every play. 
as we said, he saw that blitz coming. He was able to pick it apart very well. So the Jets led 7 to nothing at the end of the first half, and we'll have a word or two about the second half in just a moment. Never borrow money, need and sleep, but when you need to borrow, trust H-F-C. If you're about to borrow for the first time, it's important to choose a company you can trust. Well, every year, more than two and a half million people trust household finance because HFC is the only company that says never borrow money needlessly and because HFC tells you the cost before you borrow. Looking for a company where you can borrow with confidence? See Household Finance. Never borrow money needlessly, but when you need to borrow, trust HFC. That's Household Finance. There are over 1,500 HFC offices in the U.S. and Canada. See your phone book for the address of the office nearest you. Yes, for a large or small loan, call HFC in New York, New Jersey, or Connecticut. See your phone book for the household finance office nearest you. Well, the Jets got a break early in the third quarter of the football game. They kicked off to the Colts. Tim Brown returned the kickoff from the goal line to the 25. But then on the first play of scrimmage in the second half, after Morrow handed off to him, Tom Matty fumbled at the 33-yard line when hit by Biggs, and Baker recovered for the Jets. They went eight plays, moving the ball to the 26-yard line. Then Jim Turner came in to kick the first of his three field goals from the 30, and the Jets were out in front by a score of 10 to nothing. The Colts again were unable to move the football. The Jets got it back at their own 32-yard line. They went 45 yards in 10 plays. And again, they called on the foot of Jim Turner to get them on the scoreboard. He uh, kicked a field goal from the 31, and the Jets were leading 13 to nothing. Just before Turner kicked that field goal, the Jets had some anxious moments because Namath was hit hard by the Colts' Fred Miller. He had to leave the ball game. Babe Pirelli went in a quarterback. Pirelli was in for only one play, an incompleted pass. Of course, he held the ball for Turner. But then, uh, after the Colts got the kickoff back following the touch, uh, the uh, field goal, Unitas came in at quarterback for Baltimore. He had no more luck than Morrow did. He was unable to move the team. They had to give it back to the Jets. The Jets went 61 yards in eight plays, moving the ball down to the two-yard line. At the uh, two... Uh, Mathis tried to carry over. He was stopped by Dennis Gaubatz. And again, it was Jim Turner to come in and kick. And the Jets were leading the Colts 6 to nothing on Turner's third field goal. The Colts, as we said, uh, went 80 yards in 15 plays for their touchdown with uh, Jerry Hill going over for it. John Unitas engineering uh, the drive. Unitas was his old self on the uh, two-minute drill and so forth. But it was, I think, quite obvious that his arm is still bothering him. He was not able to throw long. Uh, he was not able to throw deep. And a lot of his sideline passes were wobbly. He seemed to be off his timing, which is only natural. He had uh, played a very, very little bit this year. So, in summing it up, what everybody said was just about impossible turned out to be possible this afternoon. And it was a great day, I know, for Joe Namath. Namath has taken a lot of abuse. They call him Broadway Joe, they call him a hippie, they uh, call him a long hair, but I'll tell you something, he's one heck of a football player and he proved it this afternoon. So did his entire offensive line. You have to give them tremendous credit, tremendous credit going to those men. The defense, well, as we said, the defense teamed up and played just as well as the offense. Uh, it seemed that Namath had time to throw the ball. He followed his game plan. When he needed the uh, yardage on the ground, he gave the ball to Matt Snell. Snell gained 116 yards and 30 carries. Tom Matty, incidentally, of the Colts, was the leading ground gainer with 122 and a record setting 58 yards on one carry. Well, the Jets won it by a score of 16-7, to and the Pro Football Championship is in New York. Super Bowl wrap-up has been brought to you by Household Finance. Remember, if you need money for any worthwhile purpose, see the folks at HFC, America's oldest and largest consumer finance company. I'm Frank Messer.